I read years ago that there was a uh, John Hopkins uh, professor who gave a group of graduate students an assignment, a very interesting assignment. He said, I want you to go to the slums, literally the slums of the slums. And I want you to take 200 boys between the ages of 12 and 16 growing up in the slums and investigate their background and investigate their environment. Then I want you to predict their chances for success in the future. <coughs> the students consulted social statistics. They did some investigation about the particular area. They spoke to the boys. They compiled data. And their conclusion that they presented to this professor of John Hopkins, this was part of their graduate work, was 90% of the boys, of these 200 boys, 90% would spend some time in jail. It was not a question based on how the system works in those slums. 25 years later, another group of graduate students was given the job of testing the prediction of the first group. That's a quarter of a century later. They went back to the same area. Some of the boys, by now men, were still there. A few had died, some moved away. They got in touch with 180 boys from the original 200 that were interviewed 25 years before. And they found that from a group of 180, only four of them have ever been sent to jail, and even those a short period of time. Why was it, they wondered, that these men who had lived in a breeding place of crime, how did it happen that they had such an astoundingly, surprisingly good record? So the researchers, the new group of students, were told by, by most of these boys, well, there was a teacher. They kept on hearing that mantra, there was a teacher. So they pressed further, what teacher, what? Everyone has a teacher. And they found that in 75% in of the cases, it was the same teacher, a woman teacher, that they had. So they went to this teacher. She was now quite an elderly lady. It's been 25 years after she's been teaching and she was middle-aged. She was living in the home for retired teachers that they had over there. And they asked her, how did you extend such a remarkable positive influence on the group of boys? Could she give any reason, any method, any mechanism why all of these boys remember her a quarter of a century later? They were 12 years old. What did she do right? And she says, I really don't... I really don't know. I had no methodology, no mechanism. I was just a teacher. And they pressed her because they were trying to create a paper that would, uh, that would be useful for further research. And she says, I really did nothing. And then they wrote this. Thinking back over the years, she said amusingly, almost speaking to herself more than to the researchers, she says, I love those boys. She was like almost whispering to herself, remembering it. And the researchers understood that that was really it. Almost to herself, so to speak, matter of fact, oh, I love those boys.